See, I'm a big proponent of the fall of society being them not giving you bags when you go to a store. We went to Target this morning to get some things for my trip. Travel toothbrush, uh, toiletry, wh whatever. That's not the point what I was getting. The point is, there I am, I pay for everything. I'm like holding a few things, right? Like like an idiot with no bag. I got my little receipt so they know I didn't steal it, but I'm just like walking out to my car. That's not right. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to take a look at bringing your own CA when you use the Intune Cloud PKI and how we set that up and get it going. I should have probably just bought everything at the airport. I know it's more expensive, but they have bags. They have bags, right? Get Rubix, solving for the modern workplace. Uh, so today we're going to jump into Intune from my uh, Rubix dev domain because I want to be able to get the cert from the cert authority. So I figured that would be a lot easier. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to kind of show you here. So we're going to go to intune.microsoft.com. Okay, so we're going to go to tenant administration and we are going to go to cloud PKI. Um, now, of course, we have uh, some that we made. We have an issuing and we have a few root CAs that we created. Um, but what I want to do is I want to create essentially an issuing CA. Um, so let's say BYOCA issuer. We'll just call it that for kicks. Um, so issuing uh, CA based on Rubix div domain root CA. Oh, so the CA type, right? We want to do an issuing because for the root source, we can either pick one that's already up there or we're going to bring our own. Now, as far as how it works when you bring your own, um, we're going to have to create a certificate signing request. Um, and this means that it's uh, basically saying it's signed by the private CA um, before it can be enabled. So we'll come back to that when we upload the CA. Um, the extended key usages, we're just going to go with client auth and we're going to go with, let's say, server auth. Um, just keep it pretty standard. All right, what's our common name going to be for this cert? Let's call this the Rubix dev client auth cert. Um, and we'll leave the key at uh, 2048. I'm going to rename that. Oh, what I do? Okay. Select one, bring your own. Yeah, I want to go back. I just want to rename this BYOCA. I think that'll just be easier to identify for later. We're good here. Got that. Okay, so we got that created. The issuing CA should be there in a moment. There it is. But you see it says signing required. That's because we have to download the uh, signing request file and sign it by the on-prem CA. So we're going to click on that issuer. And what we're going to do is we're going to download the signing request. And there we go. Okay, so to sign this, let's open PowerShell as administrator, and we are going to use the uh, cert request tool. Um, so cert, let's make this a little bigger so everyone can see. Cert request, submit. So the attribute we want is certificate template sub CA. Um, and our config is going to be the name of the PC. So it's going to be MK02 dash. Um, and then this is going to be the actual name of your um, CA config. So whatever is in here. So it's PC dash. And then that mine's a little you know mixed up like most things. Um, then you point to the file we downloaded. Um, and we're going to say that's going to be byoca.rec. That's our signing file. And lastly, the output. I'm going to put it in the same place. I'm going to call it byoca.cer. And there we go. Uh, so certificate is there. Byoca. Okay. And this is signed based on the details we got from... Uh, the cloud PKI and uh, you know we're essentially we should be all good and the certification path if you had other intermediate ones you'd want to make sure they 
they appear there, but we are, we are good. We have the CA and then the signed issuing uh, CA. So now we have to upload that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to Intune. We're gonna go back to Tenant Administration, Cloud PKI, and the BYO issuer. And now we can choose Upload Signed Certificate. And here we can go to our our temp location. So I'm just going to navigate over there. BYOCA. Yep. Oh, okay. So I missed a step. It's because I'm not perfect. Things happen. So we actually forgot to include the root CA and grab the full chain. So this is pretty easy. What we just have to do, we're going to open up uh, the command prompt as an admin. And this is a little bit easier. This is we're going to do cert util. Um, and we're going to say the config, we're going to point again to this CA and we're going to say CA.chain and we're going to point to our output, which is temp and we'll say full chain dot P seven B. And there you go. So now if we go back to temp, you see, we have this full chain um cert so now let's actually go here um and grab that oh okay so see now we have the full chain so we have the cert that we signed and then the trust to the original root ca it's going to validate that we did it correctly it says it's validated and there we go now our on-prem ca uh, has been connected to Intune Cloud PKI. Not too bad, right? This definitely takes away some of the benefits of having um, everything in Intune Cloud PKI, right? Like not having infrastructure. However, the fact that it's flexible enough to where you can retain that on-prem uh, infrastructure and this acts as an extension to that um, is still really good. So this is a good way for you to, you know, if you feel more comfortable making sure everything that's being deployed is verified against um, your 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 on-prem root CA, uh, you're all set there. So very easy to do, just like everything else in Intune Cloud PKI. Um, so, you know, let me know if you have any questions or thoughts on it. We'll be seeing you. Thank you.